let me start with the cost of living crisis and how it's impacting the over 50s, the people who are preparing for retirement or already there. Retirees are either on the fixed income of a pension or living from their super and savings, or a combination of both, of course. With inflation high and persistent, it's little wonder the over 50s are feeling the strain, even though they're getting a little more in interest on their savings. A new survey reported today highlights the intensifying fears affecting people over 50. More than half of the over 50s are now concerned about outliving their savings because they're being eroded by inflation. Now, these concerns are hardly surprising, are they? This is a time of great economic and financial stress, even though the government today, on the back of good employment numbers, was talking up the economy. There have been only 18 times in our history that unemployment's had a three in front of it. 15 of those 18 times have been under this Prime Minister and this government. 15 Order. out of 18 times, Mr Speaker, unemployment with a three in front of it. The longest run of unemployment Order. this low on record. This is a stunning outcome for the people of Australia and for our economy. Yeah, they inherited pretty good employment trends, but not too many people are popping the champagne, are they? And that survey of the over 50s details why people are still worried about the future. Unknown future health and aged care costs are particular causes of financial concern. And retirees have the added pressure of financially assisting adult children and other members of the family who are struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, even if mum and dad are relatively comfortable themselves, they worry about the kids being able to save for a house. And often, if they can, of course, they'll dip into their own savings to help out with a deposit. The bottom line is that economic security and the cost of living, they're the biggest issue in the country right now and will be for a long while to come. And by the way, that callous multi-millionaire clown we showed you last night, well, here's a reminder of him. We need to see unemployment rise. Unemployment has to jump 40-50% in my view. We need to see pain in the economy. We need to remind people that they work for the employer, not the other way around. Well, I said last night he should apologise and that's what he's done late today. Admitting his comments were wrong and deeply insensitive, saying he did understand that losing a job was tough on people and their families. You don't say. And he offered his sincere apologies for failing to show empathy. I don't think we'll hear much from this bloke for a while.